Welcome to a day in the life of Jen at Hemberry Farm. Because I work with chickens, I do have a couple friends with chickens who, who are somewhat timid about operating on them with Bumblefoot. And I came out here to work on little Miss Wendy, who's a Brahma, beautiful bird. She loves to talk. But it turned out she has no bumble foot. Her feet are in perfect condition. Um, we did trim her nails a little bit, but she does have a little bit of a um, limp. So we're gonna give her some aspirin. Okay, this is Anne. Say hi, Anne. Hi. Nervous mother hen. <laughs> so if a chicken has bumble foot, they will have this little black. She had she previously had one, so there's a scar right here of previous one but we washed her feet and she has perfect little feet she does have a toenail growing backwards that we're gonna leave alone I you know I think I want to trim that just a little bit because it is a little sharp but we trimmed her nails and here's her other foot she's perfectly fine you're relieved yes I'm relieved <laughs> Yeah. Aren't you happy you don't have to have a surgery? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's something I've never seen before. Mating moss. Yes, that's my British accent. Maybe. Gosh, really I can put the light, the flashlight on. Got another filter on it. I don't know. I gotta get inside, but I don't want to disturb their coitus. Okay, guys. Playtime's over. Disconnect. Anytime you want to disconnect. Oh, they're flying. Oh, look at that. Oh, how bizarre. Must be really good. <laughs> oh. Huh. I don't think ever want to be a mom. <laughs> oh, I hear thunder. I might have been a bottle bleach blonde for 40 some odd years. But I know how to do this. Huh? 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 Yes. I'm not stupid. Weed eating. I hate it. But it's kind of cool. Um, I've tried the, the gas. I have this Walmart gas weed, weed eater. Weed eat eater. I can't say this stupid word. And I can't keep it I can't keep it started and it's heavy and I got to keep it filled with gas so I've also had the Black & Decker cordless battery operated man that sucked it the battery dies in like 15 minutes and you can only get like this much done in 15 minutes and then you got to have the battery charged for like two hours it's like Skiing, snow skiing. You ride up the ski lift for 20 minutes and then you're down the slope in five. Not worth it. So it's about to rain real bad, um, which makes for good, good mudding in the uh, ATV razor things. Um, 
unfortunately the chickens can't come out so they're kind of stuck in their cages unfortunately because I like to have them out when I'm home and working outside but with that rain coming I need them dried especially with those two I just cleaned out their their pens you know I'm just not willing to get them all muddy because I'll tell you what when chicken poo straw and water and dirt get together <laughs> it's like the worst smell you've ever had it's like rotting fish it's disgusting so unfortunately they got to stay cooped up all right Charlie Charlie you coming to get me hi doc uh oh look father and son they always fight with each other they do Snap. Snap. Snap, right there, the one that's walking away, the orange and green one, is the son of Dr. Jekyll. Father and son, there they are. So my certain special someone got a, uh, a weed eater, weed eater can't say that word weed eater e eater weed eater I can't say it. weed eater there you go and uh, he knew I needed one so he's like yeah you can have this this thing is kick-ass And I ticked off a nest of ants. I'm about to explode them. Baking soda, hydrogen peroxide. I don't know, maybe I'm just whitening them. I know there's something. It's supposed to make like the ant nest just froth over in bubbles. Boy, look at them, they're pissed starting to rain, but not that I'm doing a plug for Walmart, but it's a hyper tough. It is corded, but it's lightweight. This is like, booyah. So yeah, it's raining. <laughs> and, whoo, boy, that thunder traveled. So, even though it looks kind of redneck, I, re I really don't care because my birds are nice and dry and they aren't getting wet and they're happy campers. Well, sort of. At least I don't got any mad hens. You know, you ever heard of the term mad as a wet hen? Yeah. They aren't happy campers when they're wet, uh-uh, especially when they got to have a bath. So I'm kind of at odds with these barn swallows making a nest in my floodlights. Because they drop all kinds of crap. birds got to make a home but really in my floodlights I mean I let 
the over the spring I let this Jenny Wren I think it's called a Jenny Wren make a nest in my cabinet and she hatched out five babies four lived I'll give them a place to live but that's just gross but my mom loves her barn swallows but hence barn swallows they're barn swallows because they got that split tail um, they belong in a barn not my floodlights so actually these birds are called carport swallows as I sweep I find another one right Darla look at the bug you see the bug get the bug get the bug right here look 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 right here Wait, no! Drop it! Drop it! Let go! Darla! There you go, good girl! Poor Snap! He's all outside by himself. I kicked him out of the, out of the coop today. <coughs> He's such a cornball. So I was harvesting today, and I got my first sweet potatoes! What the heck? These have been in the ground for like, I don't know, three, four months? They look like squealy worm poops. I don't, I don't think that will satisfy... Excuse me! I don't think that will satisfy any kind of hunger pain at all. <laughs> so being that I'm on backyard chicken farmer, and I have a few customers that um, eat my eggs. I've got my own cartons that I've kind of like handcrafted myself. Um, lots of people donate these egg cartons for me or to me. And I put my own, it's upside down, I put my own label on it. So I created the label, make copies and then I laminate them and glue them on with uh, like silicone hot glue. But then when I get the cartons back from my customers, especially during this COVID BS, um, I bleach them because you know, I don't want them getting sick off of somebody else's cartons. Say they had a cold and they touched it. So I bleach them. And then after a few minutes, I'll rinse them off. I have lots of cartons. I prefer the plastic ones because I can bleach them. But in the beginning, I made colored ones. I spray painted them. I took a lot of spray paint, but they're pretty. Different colors. But for my own personal egg use, my very own, see if you can see it, farm fresh butt nuggets <laughs> for my refrigerator. Thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes to see what I do throughout the day, even if it's not with chickens. <laughs>